I'm going to do a glasses tutorial just now uh, and I'm going to focus the emphasis on the cheeks and the lips because sometimes you want the frames to do the talking. So we've already started by applying a primer on the eyes um, and this will help stop shadow from creasing because that's something you have to be careful about. I've also applied a concealer underneath the eyes and you have to be careful because if you've got any under eye shadows, this will be amplified when you wear lenses. So I'm just applying a neutral highlighter in vanilla. Just in the corner of the eyes and up underneath the brow bone. And then I'm going to apply a slightly shimmery brown shade. I'm just going to apply that all over the lid and into the socket. So it's a very slight smoky look. Just very soft. So I'm just pressing on the shadow and taking it up just beyond the crease. And now I'm just going to blend the edges. It's really just a wash of a nice kind of neutral brown all over the lid and into the socket. I'm not going to spend too long on the eyes just now. The focus is going to be on the lips and the cheeks. And just a little bit of the same shade underneath the eyes. Look up for me. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the blusher now. And I've chosen a nice pinky blusher by MAC and it's called Pink Swoon. It'll give the cheeks a nice pop of colour. better to use matte textures as they won't crease. Because if your glasses are sitting on top of your blusher and if you're wearing a cream formula it's going to crease and slip all over the place so you're better sticking to powder formulas. Sometimes your frames can draw attention to your eyebrows so it's important to keep them well groomed and filled in. Be sure and make sure you set your foundation around your nose because that's where the glasses are going to sit so it'll stop them from slipping about if it's nice and set your foundation. On to the lips now, I'm going to choose a nice vivid pink and I'm going to use the Pro Longwear Lip Pencil from MAC in More To Love to line the lips. And I'm going to fill the lips in using a lip tar from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics and this one's called Queen. So we'll just pop the glasses on. And there you have a nice finished look, focusing on the cheeks and the lips. <laughs> 